You don't need this. I know what you need. And it's not on the menu. Huh? I said my name's Jen. I'll be your server. Is something wrong, sir? Yeah. Something's very wrong. Well, if you uh, still wanted to know if there was a spark between us, now we know. Yeah, we do. Don't we? What do you think? I asked you first. So it God, you were really losing it. Tess was not just here, that was hallucination. You just need some, some caffeine. You'll be fine. Are you trying to get rid of me, pretty boy? Okay. There's definitely no doubt. The spark's still there. I mean, for me, <laughs> anyway. So. Oh, me too. I mean, yeah, maybe. <laughs> that was a pretty amazing kiss. Yeah. Pretty amazing. So, I guess the question now is... What do we do about it? I don't know what we should do about our spark. I mean, I appreciate that Rama thinks that you should fill in this hole in your life by reconnecting with your first love, but I... What? I just don't think that we should read too much into that kiss. You just said it was amazing. It was. I mean, the, the, the kiss, the kiss is not the problem. Everything else is. I mean, my life is a mess. My father's on house arrest. My sister has moved out to raise the baby that she had with my ex fiance and then Ford... Uh, just, we have this complicated relationship over our baby. Right. And that's not even the worst of it. My, my uncles, what's going on with them? I mean, my Uncle Victor just died and my Uncle Todd just came back. Kind of confusing. Yeah, and what we thought was a spark could have just been that. Could have just been confusion. <sighs> Jess, I, I know the difference between confusion and excitement. And trust me, that kiss was all about excitement. You don't... Maybe something's still there. A real connection that can change our lives. If we let it. You know, I'm really starting to take this personally. You're trying to get rid of me, aren't you? I'm gonna keep on asking until you answer. Oh. Damn it! Look, you'd, you'd know I'd give anything to have you back right now. I, I, I love you, and I, I miss you like crazy. Apparently I miss you so much that I'm imagining you're here right now. And I'm sure that waitress is, is getting ready to ship me off to St. Anne's because I'm talking to myself! So you want me back? I just said I want you back. Then, why are you avoiding Jessica? Shh. Don't shush me. Nobody can hear me, okay? You're going about this all wrong. You need to get in her face so you can get me out. That way, you won't have to imagine me. You could have me in the ample, silky flesh. If that's what you wanted. I can't do that. Jessica, Jessica's integrated now. So disintegrate her. The idea of trying to recapture our old flame is very, very tempting, but Christian, I don't know if you've noticed, but my life is a little crazy right now. And mine isn't. You really want to compare? I have screwed up so many people's lives, including my own, because of my craziness. I just... I just don't think that now is the right time for me to take this big leap. I know the timing isn't great. You know, when I was Tess, I pretty much abandoned Bree and Ryder, and I did horrible things to my family. And I'm paying for them, and now there's this thing with Ford. That did sound complicated. And when I was Tess, I let him fall in love with me, and now we can't even be in the same room together because I remind him of Tess. And then there's Natalie, who you were actually married to. Right, right, yeah, that would be kind of awkward with Natalie. That might be a pretty good reason for us to get back together. I could stick it to Natalie. You're kidding, right? Yeah. Kind of. 
Well, whatever happens, I don't want Natalie to be the reason we don't try. Trust me, you can blame this one all on me. Me and the Supremes. Tess, Bess, Wes. You know, Jess, you need to stop being so hard on yourself. And amazing kiss aside, I do see what you're saying. I'll always care about you, Jess. But, you know, starting over, trying to turn back the clock, that probably doesn't make much sense for us right now. Told you. I guess it was kind of random. Mm. But it was really, really sweet. You know me. <laughs> you know, it's just that thinking about when we were back in high school, you know, falling in love for the first time, that I felt so comfortable, so safe. I mean, isn't there any part of you that wants to go back to that? I can't, I can't force Jessica to let you out. Why not? It's not like you haven't done it before. We both know that low life stunts aren't beneath you, thank God. It's one of the things I love most about you. I love you too, but I'm not gonna mess with Jessica's sanity. I, I can't do that to her. Since when did you start caring about Jessica? Look, look, Jessica's trying to rebuild her life, right? I I'm not gonna stand in the way of that. So you like Jessica more than me? No! <laughs> no, I, of course not. I love you, I love you, but... It's Jessica's body, and it's Jessica's life, and, and she, she's the mother of my child. Ow! Listen to me, you overdeveloped, chest-waxing, two-timing oaf. We are getting back together, okay? So stop avoiding Jessica and get in there and start fighting for me. Hard and dirty, the way I like it. Or you'll lose me forever. Tess, no! I, I want you to come back! Were you... Calling for me, sir? Uh, yeah, I was. I'd like to check. As much as I would like to go back to a time when things were so simple and uncomplicated as they were in high school, we're different people. You know, I'm definitely not the same girl that you wrote all those love letters to. Oh, speaking of love letters. Oh my God, you still have this? I gave it to you after that one Valentine's Day in high school, remember? It was really great, wasn't it? You know, everything was just so exciting and hopeful. Just looking forward to the future. Hey, so what if our lives turned out a little more complicated than we thought they should? That's the understatement of the millennium. But look at all the good that's happened, too. You've got Bree and Ryder and everyone else in your family that loves you, including me. I mean, how great is it that after all these years, we're still in each other's lives? Always left you too, Christian. Hey. You know, I should probably get going. Uh, the fall semester at LU is starting, so I gotta... Yes, go prep. The artists of tomorrow need an inspiring teacher. Right. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Right. So. What's going on? Chris, Carlotta left you a message. She said it was urgent. Oh, okay, thanks. Hope you had a good birthday. Call Dean, ASAP. Hello, Dean McKenzie? Hi, this is Christian Vega. I just got your message. What's up? You want me to what? I could ask you the same question. What's going on with you? I thought we agreed not to see each other because I remind you too much of Tess. Forget that. I want to know what's going on between you and Christian. 